Passive Inspection CubeSat's mission is a NASA project. So they sponsored us to build a couple of satellites and they provided a launch for us to put them into space. Well, the idea behind the PIX program was to design a satellite that could be used to take pictures of another satellite. A lot of spacecraft don't have an opportunity to be seen from the outside because there's no other spacecraft around them. This would allow NASA to very inexpensively take photographs on the outside of the space station in a very safe way. This is a spacecraft selfie cam. That's a good way to describe it. And so NASA, of course, is really interested in reliability for their spacecraft systems. Um, they're looking forward to deep space missions. And we pose this as a solution for having better techniques for measuring the condition of the spacecraft. We call it CubeSat. That's sort of the short name. It's based on a standard for small satellites that's a 10 centimeter cube. So it's pretty small, but even the simplest spacecraft can be quite complex. We had a unique challenge where we wanted to have a camera on each face. There are a lot of circuit boards in here. We needed six solar panels, four battery boards. We have a computing board. We have a radio circuit board. All of these need to be connected. So there ends up being a lot of cables, more than 25 at least. That's like roughly four times as many cables as you have in your desktop computer, but in a space that's like a sixth the size. So it'll be enough to hold this satellite was primarily built by students. By my last count, we had about 60 students involved over the five years of the project. And they came from all kinds of different majors. It takes a lot of different disciplines and a lot of different expertise to put the entire satellite together, get it designed, manufactured. And there's also some complicated testing that has to go into it. A key characteristic of a CubeSat is it has these rails on the sides. This is loaded in a square tube on the original launch vehicle. You have multiple of these in a row. I like to refer to it as sort of like a Pez dispenser. The moment they come off of the dispenser, the CubeSat will start booting. The computer will turn on, all the microcontrollers will turn on. All of that boot up process happens within just over a second. The spacecraft moves out and begins taking video imagery with the cameras that are in the center on each face. That's the data we want to collect. Once it moves further away from the spacecraft, we have a little uh, wire that allows us to deploy our antennas. They unfold, the radio turns on, and we begin transmitting data. The launch provider will give us information about where this satellite is in orbit, and we'll take all the antennas on the roof of the engineering building and just look in that entire area, trying to make sure we find it and hear those first few messages. We have a team of engineers here on the ground. They're gonna receive the data as the spacecraft passes overhead. That's the number one thing I cannot wait to see is those antennas scanning across the sky, listening to the satellites, because for me, that'll be the most real thing I ever see, that they are actually in space and operating. There'll be a bunch of us here in the engineering building, waiting in front of a screen, looking for a signal to show up on a little graph and uh, we'll be ecstatic when we see it.